get yourself into your comfortable position and as comfortable as you now are make sure that you're ten times more comfortable than you are right now your unconscious mind knows how to do that and you've allowed your eyes to close which is great to help you now I would like you to allow and again be very aware of the word allow your eyes to gently flutter open and fix them on a point on the ceiling so look look at a high point whether it's on the wall or the ceiling that's it and just keep staring at that spot keep looking keep looking and as you are looking just recognize now that the muscles in the eyelids are the tiniest muscles in the entire body and the easiest to close and as your eyes remain open recognize now the willingness and the wanting of those eyes those tiny little muscles in the eyelids to allow the eyes to close nothing would give you greater pleasure than to allow them to close and every time you blink those eyes as you have been they'll blink for longer and you'll enjoy the pleasure of the eyes being closed more until finally they close down so heavily that they remain closed and you feel that sense of relief to finally allowing the body to do what the body is capable of allow now your body to sink down into the chair and feel some relief there's no place for you to go and nothing for you to do the loudest sound you hear is the sound of my voice and everything else just washes over you and helps you to relax I'm going to count from seven to one you know the score when I reach the number one you will be in the deepest relaxation possible Number one is where everything harmonizes, everything is right. Even those things that aren't quite, everything is right. Who takes seven steps for your unconscious mind to do what it can do, to take the steps, to make those changes all the way down. So we go seven. Six, five, four, three, four, five, six, five, four, three. Two, one, 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 balance, harmony between mind and body, allow it all to slow, right down. Right down now, all the way down. No place for you to go, nothing for you to do. You can just float and drift, allowing my voice to guide you, help you, empower you, right here, right now, and forevermore. The point of power is in the present moment. We are using that now to gather everything that has happened before, 
all the stuff that's worked, and particularly that that has worked so well for you these past few weeks. Now, enjoying the positivity, the happiness, the anchoring of joy, to gather together now in the present moment and to project into the future. I would like you right here, right now, to create, imagine if you will, think about the best version of you. Yes, having that imagination, having that creativity, having that memory of you in the best possible shape, physical, emotional, mental and spiritual. And you can embody all of that right now to project into the future. It's time to fully associate with the joy that can be found in the cells of this body. It's time to recognize you are not your body, though it's the place where you will live until you can cast it aside because you no longer need it. Right now, these trillions of cells you inhabit call your name. They all belong to you. They are moving, changing and evolving and in seven years time you get a completely new body. And right here, right now, I want you to feel your tongue. Yes, notice its position somewhere behind your teeth. Notice how your tongue can actually taste the inside of your mouth, the back of your teeth. Notice how the soft pink warm inside of you is noticed by you every day when you brush your teeth. You can bob that tongue out just to see the inside of your own body. We're so focused on the outside and yet when we attend to the inside with joy when we do the things that excite the cells, when we move the body in a way that feels good and eat lovely, healthy, nutritious foods, when we do what brings the body into balance, everything harmonizes even more. I want to make that tongue of yours now that's relaxed somewhere behind those teeth Make that tongue more sensitive than ever before. You have millions of papillae, taste buds, on the front of the tongue, the sides of the tongue, the back of the tongue, the roof of the mouth, and even right at the back, the tonsils. Which means some parts of the mouth taste salty things, some taste sweet things, and the combination of moving foods around your mouth gives an exquisite experience. Quite often, as we get older, we'll just throw that food down and not really taste it as much, not really get the sensory pleasure from every single mouthful. For the more pleasure we have from that which we put into our mouths, the more we enjoy, the less we need. It's as if there's an unconscious part of us that is seeking pleasure. Long after the pleasure has flown, You'll know this by eating ice cream. The first couple of mouthfuls, you taste the sweetness, the coolness, the smoothness, the exquisite taste of the ice cream. And then from the third or fourth spoonful, it's just cold because those taste buds have been satisfied, satiated. Sometimes it's great to look forward to a meal because the first couple 
of mouthfuls of bliss. Wonderful how your body knows what you like. And just like a toddler, if something were to come into your mouth that you didn't like, you'd bob that tongue out and go, you'd push it out of your mouth. And there's so many things that some people like and some people don't like. You have trained yourself to only seek out that which you enjoy. This very clever body of yours will take all the foods and drinks that you assimilate down the gullet into the stomach. Your very clever stomach is the size of your fist and yet can expand to encompass anything that we put into it. It's a marvellous muscular balloon and the food will travel from that stomach into the 22 feet of intestines and each moment the body is taking out all the nutrients, the moisture it needs from that food till finally what is expelled is what the body can't use anyway. It's a miraculous machine. And now you engage with that part of the mind which governs everything that you put into this body and everything that you expel. That part of the mind now knows exactly how to help you to bring even more balance, more joy, more sensory pleasure into this body. It's easy for it to do and to restore right now. It's as if even lying here, sitting back, reclining as you are, even your skin has become more sensitive. You can feel the fabric now against your neckline. You can feel the creases of your shirt where they are against your skin. Your sensory perception is becoming more acute. This is going to mean that you will enjoy life more as a physical human being. Yes, we've dealt with the emotional stuff. Yes, the spiritual stuff, it'll just take care of itself. You know that. And the mental acuity is without question. Now it's about getting physical. To become the best possible you you can be. To move your body in a way that feels good. To feel energised. For that balance of energy in and energy out to be addressed naturally, easily, at an unconscious level. This is a time for more joy, more pleasure, as you look forward to this wonderful holiday coming up, you will begin to experiment more with what truly brings joy to you. And when you are joyful, everybody around you is joyful. You know that. So it's time to gather everything from the past into this present moment for the unconscious to sift and sort and to project into the future all of the joy, the love, the companionship, the happiness, the laughter, the love, the light, the laughter and the ease into the future. There is always a way to experience life more. More love, more light, more laughter, more ease. Your unconscious mind is going to do that now. I want you to sense in your way, and you know how to do that by what you see, what you say, what you hear, what you feel, what you smell, what you touch, what you taste, all 
the ways you gather information about the physical world around you. I want you to sense, yes, to sense in your way, you in the future, future you. Now future you can be in an hour's time and it can be 10 years time or next week. You are creating the future you with every breath you take now, with every thought you have now, with every idea you wish to put into motion now. The unconscious mind is making the dog bark and that's a useful distraction to know if it's more important to attend to that or to allow yourself to feel the pleasure of relaxing so deeply. All of that stuff around you lets you know what's important enough to engage with and what you can just let go of, knowing it'll all sort itself out. Knowing that this is your time now and you know how to create the best possible version of you. You now, all the levels of mind project into the future the best possible you. What you are wearing, how you are standing, how you've got your hair, the expression on your face. Now I want you to create the best possible you, the happiest you, the most balanced you, the more relaxed you, the you that finds joy in unexpected places, the you that allows troubling things to pass, things that used to capture your attention and throw you off balance. That can just all go by the by now because it's more important that you make the most of your time here on the planet. This is you, this is your body, these are your clothes, this is your hair, this is your face with 43 muscles to make all sorts of different expressions on it. This is you and this is your life. So imagine yourself now the best possible you, happy, calm, centered, finding joy, positivity, much more than ever before, happy to be alive. Yes, people moan about their weight and they might even moan about yours. You might moan about stuff like that too, though you're just really happy that everything works. Everything in the entire body, all of those cells communicating with each other, now coming into balance and ridding themselves of anything that's no longer useful. That's right getting right down into the unconscious mind, the unconscious mind that can release stuff that's no longer useful, like stuff from the past. The cells of the present can rid themselves, clean themselves, refresh themselves, regenerate with more positivity, more joy, more hope, more laughter, more love, more light, more laughter, more ease unburdened from stuff that used to drag them down. Our minds, your mind, so incredibly powerful that as we think ourselves happier, stronger, fitter, leaner, so ourselves respond, and particularly those of the tongue, because to taste life is one of the wonderful things these bodies of ours give us. You can even taste the salt in the sea. You know you're by the sea even before you see it. You can taste the freshness of the air. You know how hydrated your body is by how the inside of your mouth feels. 
And have you ever been really, really thirsty? I mean, so very thirsty that you now having a sugary drink would just not hit the spot. It would just leave your mouth all tacky on the inside. And when you're really, really thirsty and you really, really need some refreshment, all that will do is fresh, clear, pure water. Water now cascading over the tongue, refreshing the entire mouth, going down the gullet, splashing into the stomach. Like a little whirlpool now, finding its way through that 22 feet of intestines, bathing, soothing, lubricating, refreshing that pink, moist, soft, vulnerable inside of you. Anything that's clinging to the sides of those intestines just get washed away by that clear, fresh, pure water. Easily and naturally now, you just drink so much more fresh, clear, pure water than ever before. You never realised just how thirsty you are. Oh yes. And you never realised how that water brings the body into balance. You know that you get energy from oxygen, right? And that there is oxygen in water. H2O. So the more you can get your hands on and your tongue on oxygen, the more these cells have more oxygen in H2O, the more energized this body actually is. The more you can become physically free, move with ease, the water lubricates every muscle, nerve and fibre of your being. It's so much easier to move, to digest things and to feel hydrated, radiating out. And the skin becomes far more moisturised. Forget all of your creams, it's from the inside out. The body gets moisture. I want you to now notice that you've always been attracted to water, free-flowing water, water in all its forms. And of course there's water in the air as it evaporates too. Nobody likes it when it's really, really dry or really, really clammy. Somewhere in between, the body finds its perfect temperature. You seek out more conducive atmospheres. You go towards, like a magnet, things that are more comfortable to you. And your body does that now, at an unconscious level. Foods and drinks and water and refreshment that is more conducive to the environment of this body. You begin to recognise that for years, just like every other human being, we've been programmed by adverts and colours and shapes and signs and words telling us we'll feel better if we have this and if we buy that, this sugary thing and that salty thing. And so the tongue has become quite numb. Now it is re-energised. Now it's going to taste with more acuity. You cannot wait to have that clear, cool water splashing over the tongue, down the throat, hydrating, cleansing, refreshing the insides of you. It's as if you're now going to miniaturize yourself your consciousness can go into any part of your body. Miniaturize yourself now and go down the throat, down into the stomach and just take the path, the route that all your food does, everything that you put into your face, everything that you consume goes down into the stomach and through 
the 22 feet of intestines. Now what you see when you look to the side view of yourself is mostly intestines because your stomach is only the size of your fist. And yes, there is excess energy stored in the body that we call fat. And know it for what it is now. It is stored energy and it can be released with joy, with movement, activity and ease. And your unconscious can do that easily and effortlessly. And it begins now. And as you focus on this best possible you in the future, make sure he is looking the way you want him to look. Make sure that you keep him thirsty for life, thirsty for fresh, clear, pure water, because you just know now how good it is for him. Make sure that he has an expectant look on his face of happiness, pleasure yet to come, seeking out things that will bring joy to him and his family. Make sure that he is happy with the way things are and always looking for more, always looking for more, picking out the positives, relaxed and at ease. And just notice as the days pass, he's actually travel into the future so we've got days weeks months years you know when people want to lose weight and they want to lose a pound a week or two pounds a week and all of that well just imagine if you only put one pound on a month every year you're nearly a stone heavier so how about we reverse that? Even if you lose, and we don't like to use the term lose, get rid of, get rid of forever, one pound every month that you hardly notice. Every single year, you are then a stone lighter, happier, healthier. The will thaw to the future even more, being joyous in the present moment. Now these are all suggestions that the unconscious can filter through to the conscious mind at a rate and speed that is appropriate. What will remain above all else is the recognition that life is more fun, happier, that the physical self responds better, is more resilient, Looking forward to the future, in a moment you'll come back to full conscious awareness with a zing in your step, with a ting in your body, with a feeling on the tongue, perhaps of dryness, stickiness, that that pure, clear, fresh water is going to invigorate. Keep washing those taste buds so you can taste life to its fullest. There's a whole world out there and there's different weathers and there's humidities and there's dryness and you can taste the atmosphere in the air. Though you do need to refresh, clean and revitalize this body with that fresh, clean, pure, sparkling water, H2O, you're going to be drinking oxygen, giving yourself more energy, vibrancy, looking forward to the future. Now as you see, as you sense, as you feel, as you know yourself to be in the future, the image of you, the image of you, your own personal avatar, no matter what the mirror says, you know where you are headed, you know your optimum self and what 
he looks like, what he wants you to be, how grateful he is to you now for beginning to put these things into practice. Easily and effortlessly, because you're just going to enjoy your food more. And the more you enjoy it, the less you need. You're going to taste every morsel. You're going to get pleasure, true pleasure, from vibrant, colourful, healthy, wonderful foods. And you're also going to be very aware of sugar. Oh yes, even fruit, of course, has sugar in it. Your body can only use food, you know because it turns it into sugar. Everything that you eat, it turns into glucose. It breaks it down into sugars that it can use for energy. And when there's too much sugars, of course, it stores it in its storage factory that we call fat. So it's easy for it to melt away as that energy begins to be released because, you know, you cannot store protein. It's just basic chemistry. Any protein that you eat cannot be stored by the body, gets utilised for the body's natural processes and then the rest is eliminated. Whilst all of that starchy stuff and sugary stuff and simple carbohydrates, that's all the stuff that gets stored up, that backs up the system. I want you to imagine for a moment eating a steak, really juicy, wonderful, succulent steak. And as you eat that steak, the body starts to produce all that acid to break down the protein so that you digest your food. And the body is getting to work, all the cells are doing what they do, and the pink, vulnerable, moist insides of you, your stomach, is now producing all that hydrochloric acid and it's all going to be, all going to be digested properly. And then, and then what do we do? We sometimes put down potatoes, or chips, or mash, or baked potato, or pasta, or something that puts out the fire. When we put lots of alkaline food on top of that acid, then the meat just goes through the intestines, kind of rotting rather than being digested properly. You're just going to become very aware now of how this body feels and know that protein and fresh vegetables and all that stuff is going to be your friend for life. And as your tastes are changing now, you'll still reach out for that which you want, though that which you want is changing. Because you want to be leaner, stronger, fitter, freer. You want this body to move better, more easily, to bend with ease. You want to be unencumbered by those stores of energy. And you want to utilise any excess that's there. And your unconscious mind and your body knows that now and communicates that continually to your conscious mind. And this will be evidenced by you just not fancying something anymore or by you being really drawn to something that perhaps you wouldn't have been drawn to before because your taste buds are in control and your taste buds are now new and revitalised and looking now for the true flavour of real foods now that they are bathed in pure, clean, fresh water. You bring more oxygen into this body because it is oxygen that burns those stores of energy and turns it into energy you can utilise right now. These are just suggestions. Suggestions that your unconscious mind can utilise to gravitate you towards the best possible version of you. And now that you sense yourself there, the best possible version of you, now that you sense the expression on his face, now that you enjoy the happiness in store for him, you draw yourself energetically, which means 
the energy from all of your chakras attached to him, that future avatar. And if you happen to look in the mirror and think, well, that's not the way I'd like to be, then you just know that the physical you is catching up. You're just waiting for the physical you to catch up with the you that you really are.